Okay, in this video, we're going to go through the vocabulary for the scripture, Ruth chapter 2, verses 3 through 12. To give you an idea of what we're going to try to do here, I'm going to give you the vocabulary. I'm going to show you how to sign the words. But this is a story, and a story has people in it. And when deaf tell a story, it is a very acting, almost, kind of thing. Okay? And there are a couple of things I want you to be rec to recognize as we go through this. One, there is a lady named Ruth, and there is a man named Boaz. Okay? When I'm signing, I am going to choose to put Boaz over here. And I'm going to be able to put Ruth over here. Ruth is in a field, so that field is going to be over here. She's going to be with some field workers, and those field workers will be over here. So you're going to notice that as I sign this, that my signs are going to be placed so that there is a clear reference to who it is that's speaking. Because sometimes, when all you have is your hands, it's difficult to say who is saying what, okay? So when Boaz is speaking, I'm going to have Boaz over here, and I may actually even turn and be talking to Ruth. And when Ruth responds back, I will probably turn back this way. So you're going to notice that it's not only just signs, but it's my body posture as well. As I tell the story about how Ruth was gathering uh, grain in a field, and Boaz came to her and said, Hey, you stay here. I'll take care of you. Because you left your mother and your father, and you left your own country to go and to be here with your mother-in-law. And I like that. That's the story I kind of all summed up. But anyway, so without further ado, here is the vocabulary. So names are spelled. There's no sign for names. Fortunately, Ruth's name is not Nebuchadnezzar. You can do Ruth pretty easy. Okay? Ruth. So when you go to introduce yourself, you will have to introduce yourself and the scripture. So it'll be Ruth chapter 2. Okay, chapter. You make a, like a C hand. All right? And a chapter is the long part of a page. And that's where the sign comes from. Chapter two verses so verses is much smaller than a chapter and it runs across the page okay verses three through twelve through live long and prosper or if you can't do that do it that way either way is fine all right through palm is up as you come through so, Ruth went out to pick up grain. So, I'm going to do this in phrases, because if you learn the individual words, you're not going to get it. You need to figure this out in phrases. And the phrases are what you're going to memorize, right? basically. You're going to remember how to sign a phrase. Because if we did this by word by word, it would be Ruth went out to pick up grain. That's not going to communicate well at all. It's words, but it's not communication. So Ruth went out to pick up grain in a field owned by Boaz. So Ruth went out, and the sign I'm using here is she's going over there. It's all that, that that's kind of a conglomeration of signs, but basically Ruth went over there. Okay, so Ruth went out to pick up grain. And we can do two things here. We can do pick up grain. That doesn't communicate as well as harvest grain. Okay, this is the sign for harvest. This is the field, and you're just kind of scraping the stuff off the top. All right, that's harvesting. So Ruth went out to pick up the grain and the grain, this is like your cob of corn. It's a pretty narrow cob of corn. But that's your cob of corn, and you're counting the little 
corn uh, kernels there on the top of it, grain, in a field, okay? So this makes a place. The F hand, kind of circling around it, calls it a field, all right? So a field, all right? Um, owned by Boaz, owned or owned, Either way, you do O's or just open hands. Owned by Boaz. All right. Now notice I pointed over here at the end of that because I have just told the deaf community that I have introduced a new character. His name is Boaz, and he is right there. Okay. He is a relative of Naomi's husband, Elimelech. Okay, he, see how I can use this now because I've told you where he's at? I just point to empty space here and your mind fills in the fact that Boaz is sitting there. He was a relative family, okay, was a relative of Naomi's husband. Elimelech. All right, and you're going to have to spell Elimelech. And I would suggest you practice it to get it spelled correctly. But the word for relative is family. And Naomi, you spell her name. Husband, okay. Na Naomi's, it has like an apostrophe S there at the end. So Na Naomi, her husband. And I've pointed kind of in the middle between the two areas because I don't have anybody to find here. So, her husband, or husband, excuse me, husband. Think married, think married, husband, all right. As well as a rich and important man, as well as, this is a sign for also, or as well as, or like, same sign. And it's fingers together out here and then it's kind of circle them back closer to you and have a meet again. Okay? As well as a rich and important man. Rich. I got a little money. I got a money here. And I got a bag of I got a big bag of money here. Rich. Okay. Uh, and important. Fingers like F hands. Kind of make it a little donut in the air, I guess. I'm not sure how to describe that. But important man. And you can get emphasized with this. Uh, well, like with both signs, you can do things that are that, that important. Okay? Because I've bent into it, it's important. If it really, I'm being sarcastic, important. All right? This is important, not. All right? So important man. Uh, in sign language, the, you divide the head in half. Top half of the head are male signs. Bottom half of the head are female signs. So this is like father. Bring father down to the chest and it's a man. If you do the same thing on the chin, it would be mom. Okay? Or excuse me, a woman. Uh, when Boaz left Bethlehem, when, kind of like the stick and you draw a lollipop on top, when Boaz left Bethlehem, spell it out, okay, and went out to his field, and went out to his field, or field, I'm sorry, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So when, when Boaz left Bethlehem and went out to his field, Field. I don't know why I keep wanting to put family there, but field. He said to the harvest workers, harvest, I already told you what harvest was. He said, that is from the chin pointing out in the direction of who he's talking to. Since his harvest workers are over here, he's going to be talking to them. He's going to tell them the Lord bless you, okay? Harvest 
work at the your your wrist here on the back of your wrist here just kind of knock them together a little bit put this at the end of a sign and it makes it a person who does this okay so workers the lord it's an l starting at the shoulder opposite the elbow coming down to the hip bless make two a hands okay touch the right a hand to your lip and then come down bless you and in sign language a pronoun like you or me or he or she or it is just a finger pointed in their direction and I don't know what will come up but uh, if you did it with an open palm instead of a finger then it's the possessive yours and mine and his and hers and its okay just directional and they okay they replied okay now notice I'm going to turn and I'm going to reply back to Boaz because where is he he's there okay they replied and may the Lord bless you may the Lord bless you then Boaz asked the man in charge of the harvest workers okay Boaz question it's a question mark drawn in the air question and you won't see it if you're not looking close but it's a question mark with the little dot at the end all right question okay then Boaz qu asked the man in charge okay notice what I did there I'm still pointing to the man and I'm telling you he's the one that's in charge of the harvest of the harvest workers who is that young woman who circling the, the lips who is that okay you can actually sign the word that if you'd like but since we already know that, that uh, Ruth is over here we can just point at her who is that young woman chin chest woman the man answered she is the one who came back from Moab with Naomi and she has asked if she could pick up the grain left by the harvest workers okay she is the one okay so I'm pointing over here I'm, I'm using two hands here which if you, you can do if you do it carefully she is the one okay who came back come back with uh, from and it's like pulling the string on the back of a doll and letting it go for it to talk from Moab with Naomi she okay now I'm still kind of sort of facing Boaz she asked now we can do ask of two different ways we can do a word ask or asked but really this is probably a better sign here this is ask as in I want you to do something uh, and this is I have a question for you okay she asked if she could pick up could can two yes hands pick up we already talked about that gather up or, or harvest the grain left it's on the ground and you're not going to pick it up right it's there and you're going to leave it by the harvest workers and she has been working all morning all 
make a hand, put a little roof on it, circle the roof around, and okay. I'm making the sound so you can kind of know what I'm doing over here on the other side, but don't really make that sound. And when you get to doing it quicker, you'll find that both hands move all morning. This is the direction the sun comes up. This is kind of the earth and the sun coming up. That's morning. And working all morning without, this is with, without, okay, without a moment's this is the second hand on a clock without a second's rest. And you take ours and it's like rest in peace. And you consider a little lily here. All right. Boaz went over to Ruth and asked. So Boaz went over to, and I'm going to focus again on, on Ruth. Instead of just going to the field, I'm going to focus in. My fingers are going to be a little bit closer together. I'm going to focus in on Ruth. And said, I think it would be best. I think. Point to yourself. I think. Point to your brain. Would be best. We can leave out the little connective word, it. Okay. Would be best. And this is time for better. Would is kind of the hand coming past the head. B is a B coming off the chin. Be best for you. Point to your head and just kind of rotate your wrist for you. And you can run that sign together for you. You don't have to do it for you. For you. Okay not to pick up grain in anyone else's field. Be best for you not pick up grain in other people's field. It's the way that's going to be signed. Okay? So don't pick up grain in anyone else's field. Don't pick up the grain in any... And I might even leave out the people any other field. Stay. Two Y hands and just kind of boom, stay here with the women. I think we've gone through all of those signs before. And follow along behind them. Follow. Okay. This is the women. This is Ruth and she did toddling along right there behind her right behind the other women, follow along behind them as they gather what the men left, okay, what the men have cut. As they gather what the men have cut. All right, so follow along. This is all follow along behind. Follow along behind them as they gather up what is just a finger cutting across the hand the men have cut the men finished cut all right well the fin have cut and that's the way you'd sign that this is kind of a, a sign that means done finished with so it has past tense been cut cut finished or finished cut anyway cut just like you're cutting down the grain with a, with a hatchet. I have warned the men not to bother you. I have warned, just kind of, just kind of slap your hand there a little bit. No, 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 no. Right. I have warned the men not to bother you. Not. It's a thumb coming up underneath the chin and it's coming straight out. It's very close to the word am, which comes at the chin. It's not the same word, though. This is am, and not is not am. It is down here at the bottom, closer to the neck. Okay? Not to bother you. And whatever, and, and where, and whenever you're thirsty, and when you thirsty, and 
whenever you're thirsty, okay, you can drink, you can drink, we've kind of went through those times before, except for drink, and it's obvious, kind of get a, a can of Coke and up it goes. You can drink from the water jars they have filled, okay, they, the harvest workers, whatever, they have full water jars. You can drink from them. Ruth, now I'm going to focus back this direction because now Ruth is going to start to talk. Ruth bowed down. Okay, this is like for bow. But we're going to actually, actually use our whole body as part of this. So bow down to the ground. Okay, she bowed down to the ground. So we can see these are her legs sticking out this way and she's like this, all right? Bowed down to the ground and said, you know, I come from a foreign country. Why are you so good to me? You know, okay? To point is to think, to have all your fingers in line is to know. You know, I come, we went through that sign before, from another country. All right, and I'm just going to put, the way I'm signing another country is a far away, you know, far away country. Why are you so good to me? Why? And you kind of touch the finger, the center finger to your head and come back, why? There's also the sign, point with one finger, and come back with a Y hand. All right? You can also do why. So there's a whole lot of different ways of doing why. Whichever way your fingers work the best with is the best way to sign the word why. Okay? Why, so why, uh, R, letter R coming off the chin, you pointing, remember she's down on the ground, okay? So it's going to be pointed up a little bit. You, so, so is truly, truly. The word so has no meaning of its own. To try to define the word so without another word connected to it is impossible. It's an emphasis word. It emphasizes so much good, okay? And the way the deck would sign that is truly truly good to me. Good. Hand out. Good. Good. To me. And you could probably leave out the word to, just to me. Focusing back, Boaz answered. I heard how, okay, I heard, point to the ear, how, put your hands together, and then just kind of roll them. How? You helped your mother-in-law. I heard how you helped your mother-in-law. Okay? Mother-in-law. Mother we talked about. In is like taking your fingers and putting them in a little cup. Law is the letter L against your palm. Ever since your husband died, ever since, ever since, and you start with your fingers up, knuckles pointed out, and you just kind of roll them, almost like you did the how sign, okay, ever since, but that's your shoulder, ever since your husband, it's man married, okay, husband died. He's standing upright, and he's over, dead, all right, died. Even, you even left your own father and mother. You even, and they're, spelling that word is probably the best way to sign it, okay? You even left your mother and your father to come here and live in a 
foreign land among people you don't know. You even left, and all those signs except for even you've seen before, okay, your own, remember I was telling you, you is a single finger pointed, it's non-possessive, open palm pointed is possessive, so instead of you, it's your, right? Father and mother, father and mother, and you don't have to put the and in there unless you want to. Father and mother, if you want to do it both, if you want to put and in there. But father and mother, to come and live, so you left your father and mother to come here, okay? You're coming here, come to live in a foreign land, come here, live in a foreign land, okay? So just like I did other country was foreign country, now it's a foreign country, foreign land. It's the same sign as uh, what we did before, only now it's over here. In uh, foreign land, among, among. So these are people. These are all people, and you're kind of just kind of weaving your way through them. All right. Among people you don't know. Okay. Among people, it's the letter P, kind of popping up and down. People you don't. Same thing as not. And no, we already covered that sign. I pray the Lord God of Israel. Okay, I still I'm Boaz. I pray the Lord God. All right, God. It's kind of like you're gonna go out and then you erect it and you come down. Okay, move it out, bring it up, drop it down. That's God. And do it in a smooth motion, not like the individual steps like I just did. Okay? I pray that the Lord God of Israel. Of, I oftentimes just spell. If I put it in at all. If I put it in there, I will spell it. I know, there's no, I, I'm not even sure I know the sign for of. The deaf don't generally use the sign of. So, anyway, that's a little of my English showing through. Uh, God of Israel, the letter I, and you just kind of wipe once and wipe twice. Israel, that's Israel, will reward you, okay, give much, or give much, reward you for what you have done. There's that past tense, do kind of thing. This is do, doing, doing, done, and this made it done. Finish, do. Finish, do is done. Okay? For what you have done. And now that you have come to him for protection, and now that you have come to him for protection. Okay? Now, it's the letter Y. And you start out with your fingers down and knuckles up, turn it over, and come down. Now that you have come to him, now who am I pointing to? All right, we got Boaz here, we got the field and the workers, and we got Ruth, and who's upstairs? That would be God. So almost always when we're talking about God in a pronoun, you just point up. All right, and now you've come to him for, and we talked about for before, protection. It's kind of like football, all right? But you get your, your shoulders up, protection. I pray, and the sign for pray is the same sign as what you would use for ask. It's the same sign, interestingly enough. That he will bless you. That he will bless you bless you. Okay, and that's the vocabulary for the scripture. 
Ruth chapter 2, 3 through 12. Feel free, if you know signs that are different than what I've shown you, feel free to use your own signs. If you feel a different way of communicating would work better for you, please feel free to do so. Uh, please don't make this the golden standard. The judges won't even have seen this. So practice at it. I apologize for this having come to you so late, but do well there at LTC, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there.